after this we created some calculated fields we created x coordinate for this one so the x coordinate is something like this and that's minus 1 uh, multiplied by 0.12 minus 6 and we created some other calculated fields so this is the sales so if you see we multiplied the total data by 2 so the sales amount will also be multiplied by 2 so we have to divide it by 2 to get the real sales amount so this is the real sales window sum some sales by 2 and we have the percentage here also so yep this percentage is like uh, sales of the particular subcategory divided by the total sales so this will be used to determine the length of this these bars we have the percentage adjusted here so this is like percentage divided by windows max so if you see so if you see phones is having the uh, highest sales amount so this one will be the having the highest percentage so relative to this percentage amount we will be seeing the ratio of the other subcategories percentage so that ratio will determine the length of these bars okay so then we calculated the sigmoid function here so the sigmoid function is the mathematical function 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power minus x and then we calculated the y coordinate so y coordinate is something like this the equation is sigmoid into rank windows max rank plus one divided by two divided by 100 so this is the y coordinate we pull these x and y coordinates into the uh, like columns and rows respectively we changed some table calculation and so to determine the size of these bars like what is the end x coordinate for these bars we created this size calculation so that is something like this the x coordinate will start from 6 and the end point will be decided by 6 plus 10 multiplied by percentage adjusted that we just calculated here so this will decide the end point of the x coordinate so this is a quick recap on this one so now what we will do we will see how to create this one so this is a multi-level dendrogram chart so if you see if you click on any of the category you will see the distribution of the sale among its subcategories so if you click on anyone so this is something like this will appear with the distribution of sales among different subcategories so we'll see how to create this one okay so first we'll create a category chart we will duplicate this I'll pull category here change the table calculations the percentage adjusted should be calculated along both the total sales should be calculated along category we'll change the y coordinate table calculations so y should be calculated along category and path and the uh, x should be along path it's along path sales should be along path and the rank rank should be along category only so if you see we got here the categories technology furniture and office the ratio is according to the sales amount so now what we will do so if you see what we want here is okay header okay so what we want now okay uh, like this uh, we want our sub uh, subcategories chart to start from this point so if you see this points y coordinate is minus 0 0.010 so what we want we want our uh, subcategories chart to uh, have its y coordinate as minus 0 0.0 minus 0 0.010 as its starting point so if we click on any of these uh, like categories the uh, starting y coordinate of that subcategories chart should change accordingly so do, to do that what we will do we will create two parameters first is y axis parameter and keep it float all another parameter we will create is on category create parameter category parameter fine yep we'll create the dashboard now okay. 
take it I will change it yes. bring both the parameters so we have them okay so if you see now we'll okay we'll show these headers also So yep. So this for now this is starting at zero and this one is also starting at zero. So what we want we want uh, this point to be starting at minus zero point zero one zero. So we will have some quick change in the category chart. So in this one we will duplicate this y axis. We will edit it. We will edit it. Okay. We will add the amount of y axis parameter. bring it here instead of the y-axis that we are using before everything broke we will change the table calculations y should be calculated along both x should be calculated along path rank should be calculated along category and the scale should be calculated along path yeah everything came back so now we will do the reverse yep everything's fine now so now what we want we want to store these values in the y-axis parameter and the category parameter from these points we'll create dashboard actions change parameter a category parameter category create another action We'll change the y-axis parameter. Where is it? Oh, we, okay, yeah, we okay, we should do it in the subcategory chart. Eh? We did it on the categories chart. this way okay the y coordinate we want to change is of subcategory chart so we should have it in the this one them here we'll change it in reverse okay we have it now here we'll change now dashboard actions from the category chart we want category to be stored in the category parameter now the another one we want y-axis value y-axis value to be stored in the y-axis parameter okay so if you see now yeah. if you see now this value minus 0 0.010 got stored in the y-axis parameter and technology got stored in the category parameter so but the problem here is now this point is minus 0 0.010 but the axes are not aligned 
so if you see this axis range is different and this axis range is different so we will have to align the axis so we will have it fixed minus 0. so this is 0. 0.062 is a hit and trial number so you this may change according to the data set that you are using It will change for both yep they got changed yeah so if you see they are perfectly aligned so it's uh, end point becomes this one's the starting point but the problem here is now so one more thing that we need to do it's showing all the subcategories here so we will create a calculated field category filter so category should be equal to category parameter We'll bring category filter in this one. We'll mark it to only apply. Oh yeah, it's showing only the subcategories under the technology category. So we'll now play with some formatting or alignment issues. We'll show header no. Show header. So now to like bring it more closer, we can have it as a floating and change it accordingly. done with this now so if you click on any of the category you will see the distribution of that that category subcategory only so you can use this path also anywhere like recently in our project we used this one in the in a dashboard like if you have KPIs, hierarchical KPIs that you want to show. So you may use this path only to represent. You may play with uh, the other things also in this one. If you want to change the length of this bar, you can do it by in this one. Okay, so change this multiplying factor to anything like that will change the length of the bar. If you want to change something like this also okay so if you want to like make it this make this length somewhat more so you can make it like minus 12 yep so this will become something like this so this will come and uh, it will branch out uh, at this point so the length will be something like yep something like this so you can play with so the other things also in this chart and use it anywhere like wherever we have the hierarchical data okay so this is done any doubts in this one